<laughs> this is an interesting one, boys. This is super interesting. I gotta title this video, I delivered at a cruise ship. What is up guys, Dave back again for another truck and vlog. And uh, I got a really, really interesting one for y'all. This is the most complicated sounding delivery I think that I'm going to make. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've had some complicated deliveries before, but this one takes the cake. Let me let me set this up for y'all what has transpired, okay? So I get a dispatch to pick up a load in Kingsport, Tennessee, which is what I have in my trailer right now. Going to Charleston, South Carolina. Literally down up in the nitty gritty like what I assume is like the downtown area where the name of Charleston is on the map is where I'm going. I'm going to a place called 32 Washington Street. And all it's called is Union Pier, P-I-E-R. So I'm like, okay, that's interesting. When I look this up on satellite, this is what I see, guys. That's 32 Washington Street. That little building that's next to it and where the marker is, is not Union Pier or anything. So then I start doing some investigating. I Google Union Pier and it brings up the South Carolina Ports website saying it's the Union Pier Terminal. I'm like, okay, cool. That's, that, that helps me here. So there's a number on there to call for truck drivers because I could be there at about 2.30 a.m. in the morning. I'm almost out of time. I gotta stop right up the road here, 25 minutes. I have to stop. And then I will start after my 10. I could be there at 2 a.m. But I didn't get a dispatcher appointment time. It just says tomorrow, 0000. Like there's no appointment time. There's no dispatch time, nothing for me from my dispatch. So I'm confused. I'm like, well, can I get, because you know, getting somewhere at 2.30 in the morning is risky if you don't know if they're 24 hours or whatever, if they have receiving times, anything like that. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I look on their, that ports website and there's a truckers like helpline or whatever, where truckers can call for help for information on the ports, which was nice. So I call it, I speak to a guy and he says, uh, okay, so what, what, where are you going? And I told him Union Pier, 32 Washington Street. He was like, oh, well, you're not calling the right place. And he gives me some random number and says, here, call and they should be able to help you. And I call, it goes to a voicemail, nobody answers, okay? So I go back to the Union Pier website, go through their contact, and they have a phone number, which I call, which brings me to an automatic recording for the ports in general. There's no way to get to a Union Pier to anybody that has anything to do with shipping or receiving. And I'm at a loss now, like, okay, when can I deliver this? Like, I don't know if I should be going here at 2.30 in the morning because y'all saw where it was on the satellite. I don't wanna get turned around down up in there or there's probably nowhere to park, et cetera. So I messaged my dispatcher and I'm like, hey, is there, uh, can I deliver this at 2.30 in the morning? That's what time that I can be there. I don't have a dispatcher appointment time. He sends me a message back. He goes, I don't know if you can deliver it at 2.30 in the morning, but you will have to be escorted by a Twic Escort because I don't have a Twic card, so I gotta get escorted. But you gotta get escorted by a Twic Escort. So I'm thinking, okay, that's the same thing I did at the other port. Y'all remember the other port that I went to and there was like a you know security escort there escorting all the truck drivers on. I'm assuming whoever didn't have Twic cards. So I said, okay, I'm thinking, well, you know, that still doesn't help my problem. So I sent him another message back and I said, just confirming there is no appointment time on this, right? Like, you know, cause if he tells me, oh yeah, the appointment's 8 a.m. then okay, I'm gonna plan to get there at 8 a.m. He sends me back a message. He says, your Twic Escort is such and such at this number. So I'm like, oh, I have a number for my Twic Escort? So I call that number. The guy answers the phone and he's like, Hello, this is such and such. I'm like, yeah, this is uh, Dave, and I'm a truck driver. Supposedly, you're my Twic escort, and I'm just trying to find out the hours of operation of this Union Pier terminal because I'm supposed to be delivering there, and I can be there at 2:30 in the morning. 
well this guy tells me 2 30 in the morning and i'm like well yeah that's what time i can be there he's like man they just got y'all running all times of the day huh i was like well yeah it's trucking you know <laughs> that's trucking boys so he tells me well they don't start receiving until 8 a.m i'm like okay that's what i need to know it, it, now i'm getting somewhere i found out what hours of receiving for this 32 washington street is he was like but here's the thing have you ever been there before i was like no i haven't i've been to one of the ports down there but i think it was the north charleston port but i've never been to this 32 washington street this one's new he says okay listen to me i have another truck that i have to escort on there at 7 30 in the morning he said so after i escort him then i will be able to come for you he's like here's the thing there is nowhere to park on Washington Street for a semi truck. So I'm like, okay, lovely. So he starts rapid firing these directions off at me. I mean, this is when I was stopped. I was stopped at a truck stop down the road. I had to weigh and stuff and I pulled in and tried to figure all this out. And so I start writing down the directions and everything. And he's like, yeah, you need to take this exit, take a left at the end of the ramp and then go down a mile. And then you'll see a building called Morrison something. And then you're gonna take a left at that building. You're gonna go all the way down till it dead ends. You're gonna turn around either at the gate or somewhere you can turn around. And then you need to park on the side of the road right there. And when I get done with the other guy, I'm gonna come for you and grab you and escort you to the port to be able to take you in to do your delivery and back out. He's like, there's nowhere to park down there. So I'm just telling you, you need to do this. Don't follow your GPS, take my directions right now. Like dude was super helpful, but this is really strange because you know, generally I have an address, a proper address and a time I gotta be there and I go there and everything's good. Well, this is something totally different. I just talked to a guy that I don't know telling me that these directions to take, to turn my truck around, all sorts of crap, man. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna do because I definitely don't wanna go to 32 Washington Street if they don't start receiving until eight. I wish I could just go to the Washington Street, like, and the, like, I don't know, meet the dude there or something, you know, at 8 a.m. So that would like make sense. But I guess I'm gonna go to this parking spot. And he's like, the earlier you can go there, the better. He was like, if you could go spend the night there tonight, that would be great. I was like, well, I can't. I don't have enough time to get there is a the thing. He's like, well, what time are you trying to leave in the morning? I was like, I don't know. The best time for you for me to leave. You know what I mean? Whatever you, you tell me. You're the one that's got to escort me. I don't know what to do. And I was like, 730? He was like, yeah, 730 sounds pretty good. I was like, okay. Like, that'll work. At least I have a time now. So now I know that I'm going to leave at about 5 in the morning to get there at like seven. You know, I don't wanna to leave too early and just sit there cause my clock will already have been started and you know, it's gonna waste my day away. So man, these South Carolina ports boys, it's gonna be something else. So I'm not even doing that today. It's gonna to be tomorrow. So after this video cuts, y'all are gonna see me waking up tomorrow morning and leaving at about 5 a.m. before the sun even rises, honestly. I'm gonna to have to go through Columbia which shouldn't be too bad at like 5.30 in the morning, but Charleston's gonna be a pain, dude. Good morning, guys. I am back. Uh, for me, it's been a whole uh, 12 hour, well, I, I think I was off duty for 13 hour wait to get to this point. For y'all, it was just a couple seconds. You lucky bastards. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just got fueled up. I was at a half a tank, but I just don't want to worry about it today for, through, you know, between my pickup and everything else. And I was already here. So I was like, let's go ahead and fill up. Had enough space on my weight and everything. Um, but yeah, we just fueled up. I just cleaned my windshield. If y'all saw yesterday, you know, at the first part of this video, it was very dirty. So I planned on doing that too. Got that done. So we are all ready to go into Charleston, man into Charleston. Oh, I mean smack dab up in Charleston. In one and a quarter miles, take exit 219B on the right toward Morrison Drive, then take the ramp ahead. Okay. That says Mount Pleasant and Georgetown is gonna split right. No, it's actually gonna, the right lane is gonna go right. I have to be over one more here. We're dropping down to 50 miles an hour here. Go ahead and hit the Jakes. It's not 50 yet, but I saw the sign that said it's about to be 50 and I saw the right lane ended. So or it's gonna take that exit to Georgetown and such, which is where we're going after to pick up. But 
we're gonna hang out right here in this middle lane half a mile now it's about to drop down to 50 my GPS says yep there it is there's the sign my GPS was right minimum 35 okay 0.4 is gonna be Morrison is this lane gonna go away this right lane yet it said it was it split off no it's still open it did not say it said it went to two lanes boys <laughs> that sign back there was wrong come on car come on car come on 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 it showed two lanes and then the third splitting off and gone so yeah we have to take this right here okay take the ramp ahead then take the first left Oh, that was the mountain play. Okay, it, it does go down to two up there, but my exit was before it. So, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. All right, so I have to take a left at the ramp. There is a stop sign, so that makes it easy. Is this a double? It is a double. Let me hop right, let me hop right. Because we Turn all- Turn left on Mount Pleasant Street. Okay. All right, so we're gonna come to this stop sign. I got one car beside me, it's fine. We're gonna just keep it wide here. Yeah, we are down up in it right now, boys. You don't want to turn on any of these roads. <laughs> Go to, yeah, he said go down about one mile, cross the railroad track and all that stuff, and then you're going to take a left on the Johnson Street by the, uh, what you call it, the Morrison. So, my, I told you I got my GPS doing exactly what I was supposed to do. You can manually shape your route on here, and that's what I did. So, we're going to keep this left lane. I don't know what's going to happen from here, but we're going to keep this left lane. Because, yeah, everything I've heard about Charleston, it is not a city you want to mess around in a truck. It's a very old city. Um, Billy Joe is actually from here originally. Uh, this is her, like, home city from when she grew up and everything else. So she knows how Charleston is. And she's definitely let me know how non-truck friendly it is when you get down up in there. When you're not where you're supposed to be. So, yeah. We're just going to take this nice and slow, be nice and easy, pay attention to signs and everything else. It's very chill down here right now. It's not very busy. I made it. <laughs> All right, 0 0.7 left on Johnson Street. All right, guys, it's very chill here, very chill. Very chill. I like it. I like this little road. There is nowhere for a semi to park, though. He told me there is nothing on Morrison Street for you to park, so don't even try it. Can't go take up the bike lane right there. We are in basically downtown Charleston right One now. One half mile. Turn left on Johnson Street. Okay, Johnson Street. Yep, 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 yep. Got it. I got the overhead, too, on the Google Maps. That's why I did it, so then make sure that I don't miss it. Google Maps definitely wanted me to take a different route here, though. I couldn't rely on that. It wouldn't even let me select a custom route to do the right thing, so had to do it all through my GPS. Luckily, it allows custom routing. Okay, 0 0.2. We're going to go over this. And we're just going to watch. We're going to watch. We're going to watch here. Don't miss it, Dave. Turn left on Johnson Street. 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So this is the big Mor this must be the big Morrison building right here. Oh, here it is. It's right in between here. Oh wow. This is it. That looks sketchy to turn down, but he said it looks like it goes nowhere, but just trust me. That's what he told me. What he was oh yeah, it says right there, Morrison Yard. Okay, that's it. He said, uh, when, you, when you go to take your left on to Johnson, he said, it's going to look like it's going to dead end. But he's like, just trust me. Just go down there. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm trusting you, bro. <laughs> I'm trusting you. Arriving at Johnson Street. I'm putting a whole lot of trust in this escort right now. I'm about to give him the link to my channel and tell him he's going to have to watch his video. Bro, you got to watch his video to just see what us truck drivers, you know, from our side of things. It does look like it dead ends. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, there's park. There's parking spots here. There's signs all over to say no parking, but he said nobody will mess with you. I do have to turn around though, is the thing. He told me I had to turn around at the gate. Oh, there's trucks parked all over here, dude. Should I just park here and just call it a day? I mean, I can't really turn around here. It's too tight, boys. I mean, maybe I could do a U-turn back there? Uh, I'm just gonna try to make a U-turn somewhere. If I got off onto the shoulder and then turned around, I could do it. I mean, it's too late now. There ain't nothing I can do. I really hope I don't gotta back all the way. Yeah, there's truck parking all over, man. Okay, that's not too bad. Hey, I got good directions, man. It worked out. It wasn't as bad as what I thought it would be. Can I turn around here? I mean, ah, that's so tight, boys. That is so tight. Okay, I'm about to be checking into the port and I'm gonna have to turn around. Um, yeah. I, what do I tell him? Do I tell him, oh, I'm turning around on purpose or do I tell him I took a wrong turn? I'm gonna tell him I took a wrong turn. Let me be back, boys. Let me turn around. Okay, never mind, guys. I'm not gonna check in because there's this huge, wide open parking lot right here. Hopefully, they don't care that I'm doing this. But I just, to the right, before you got to the security, there's just this big, wide open parking lot. So, this is not the port that I'm gonna be going into. That's why he wanted me to turn around. So then, when he gets here, I'm already facing the right way. And I'd rather do this early before this is packed with cars because there's probably a parking lot here for a reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, whoa, we did it, boys. We did it. I got to tell Billy Joe because I was talking to her this morning on the phone and being like, I don't know how this is going to go. She's like, well, I'm excited to see how it goes. And uh, yeah, look, guys, look at the view we got, though. We got a waterside Charleston view. <laughs> <laughs> really can't beat it. I can turn my lights on now. It said dim lights, so I dimmed them. Oh man, that worked out pretty good, boys. I gotta make sure I don't park in the worst pothole known to mankind, though, because this is look, that's deep, bro. Okay, right up here actually would probably be a good spot. I should probably dim my lights because oh no, that's a big one, too. God dang. Oh, I don't want to get in that. That's horrible. Jesus, look how deep y'all can't tell on camera, man. But these are some deep potholes. I can't do that either. There's no way I'm pulling in some of these potholes, dude. I think I might. I'm gonna end up getting stuck. I think right here is a good spot, actually. Once I pass this. Oh no, there's a car coming. <laughs> Sorry, bro. That's why I put on my four ways. They'll get to go around me. I'm keeping one tire on the pavement here. I'm about to take a nice dip. Oh yeah, that was a good dip. Oh yeah, that felt good. Oh, let me tell you something. <laughs> okay, okay. Watch out cars, big truck coming through. I don't know if this works or not, boys, but uh, we're gonna get a little bit of bushes on me. Let me uh, let me pull up here, get my trailer pointed where it needs to go. There we go, okay. All right, now my trailer's up against the BS. All right, let's back up now. Let's try not to put the trailer into the, oh God. Let's try not to put the trailer into the uh, woods here. Oh God. Wait for that car to pass. Dang, these cars are coming through now, boy. Truck driving's so fun, man. It's so fun. It's the most fun job ever. Y'all would love it. What's this sign say? No marina or cabana bar parking. Hey, well, good thing I'm not going to the marina or the cabana bar. <laughs> well, uh, good thing I'm not going there. <laughs> yep, I'm good, boys. I ain't going to Marina or the Cabana Bar, so that sign does not apply to me. I don't care what y'all say about it. Nope. All right, I think I'm gonna stop it here, boys. I'm gonna get my tractor back over to the left, right here, and I'm pretty much off the road. Let's go look and see what we did here. Let's go. Oh, God. Let's not get any ticks on us from the bushes here. Oh. Oh. 
not step on any uh all right let's see what we look like here boys look at that view man Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. The whole road's open. We are Gucci, man. Yeah, look at that. I'm pretty much, I'm literally off the road. I'm literally off the road. Heck yeah, boys. Look at that view, though. All right, guys, so that is my escort right there, and we are headed in. So he gave me a whole bunch of information. He had another guy, but the guy hadn't called him yet. So he said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take you. So I was like, I'm not complaining. I will get unloaded early if I can. So he said, here's the thing. Have your license out and ready when we get to the gate. I said, okay, will do. He said, when we get in there, you stay behind me and only behind me. I said, okay. And this is a cruise ship port. So he said, there's gonna be three to 4,000 people getting off of this cruise ship. He said, so it's going to be a bit uh, hectic down there. So, <clears throat> I might give you a call so we can coordinate and stuff. So, I might have to throw my headset on here in a little bit. But, I got a stop sign here. Oh, Lord, I can't make that. Nope. Yeah, he's got to pull over into the turning lane for me. Because I am stuck. Okay, it looks like after these few cars on the right, I'll be able to get... I don't need that right now in my life. Okay. I know there's a car in the right lane, but I'm just gonna turn it in here. There we go, just like so. All right. All right. Yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> so supposedly I gotta pay him $130 out of my pocket. Um, I don't have any EFS checks, which I should. I need to get some from online next time, but I'm gonna have to pay him $130 and then get reimbursed from the company. So, cause he's like, yeah, I was like, you, you take an EFS card? He's like, no, and that probably wouldn't work with my company anyways. It'd probably decline or whatever. So yeah, I told him I'd just pay him out of pocket and I'll just get it back from online basically. down through Charleston right now I think this is the Washington Street isn't it is this Washington my GPS doesn't say what this is or this is either Bay Street or Washington one or the other but yeah I'm just following him I don't really care this is East Bay okay so that's what we're on right now He actually used to be a truck driver. He actually used to do port work and stuff before he started his own business doing port escorts with his Twit card. So this is literally what he does. His charges, I'm assuming $130 per escort. And yeah. That's what he does, man. All right, so we gotta take this kind of wide here. We're good here. Car on the side of the road, we're good there. Okay. He even said, he said, a lot of people give crap about them Volvos, but I tell you what I liked about it, because he drove a Volvo at one time too. He said, I like that big old windshield and the turn radius. I was like, that's the exact two reasons why I love it too, or the biggest reasons. There's several reasons. But yeah, this windshield is huge compared to the Kenworth or the Freightliner, and the turn radius is just amazing. That's like, you know, arguably the most important thing as a truck driver is your turn radius. And uh, it's great on this truck. So I'm, I'm a fan of the Volvo, man. A lot of people ask me which truck I like the most. I think it's this one, honestly. I think I feel the most comfortable in this one. I will say the Freightliner was getting there for me the short time that I drove it. I was like, I think I kind of like this more than the Kenworth. Honestly, at this point, the, the Kenworth is the worst. And it's only because of the fact that the turn radius is so bad. 
so hard to make a turn anywhere in that thing. Yeah, I wouldn't have known what to do down here, dude. I would have been so confused without this guy. There's the cruise ship right there, boys. It's a Carnival Cruise Line if I'm for sure. Okay, I'm about that to get my ID and get in here. So, uh, that car stopping? Yeah, they're stopping. So, let me be back with y'all when I check in here, boys. I'm not trying to film going into port. All right, guys. Yeah, there are people coming off the crew. He knows. He said he's been doing this for 14 years, uh, escorting in and out of the port. So... Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of people with luggage coming off the cruise ship. So he knew. <laughs> he knew what was going on with me. <laughs> this is an interesting one, boys. This is super interesting. I got to title this video, I delivered at a cruise ship. Because <laughs> technically I did. <laughs> okay, they're waving me on. They're waving me on. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Look at all the tourists. Look at all the cruisers, boy. <laughs> There's a heck of a, man, online, y'all been sending me places that y'all want to see in video. Is this what's going on lately around here? <laughs> I've been getting some interesting places lately. I feel like there's somebody online like, oh yeah, it's a good one. It's a cruise ship we can send them to. Heck yeah, he won't know what to do with that cruise ship load. Or, yeah, let's show, this is a real tight blind side back here. Let's go ahead and send them over there. Or this street back here, it don't make any sense for a semi truck. Let's go ahead and send old boy there. Let's, let's watch a video and laugh at him when he gets. That, that's what they're doing to me. I already know that's what they're doing to me. <laughs> they send me all this fun stuff, man. There should be extra pay for these shenanigans. I should have got a dang stipend or something for. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Hold on, I got a call. Okay. go ahead and swing up and then open your doors so i'm gonna go open the doors guys i'll be right back with y'all all right guys i'm at a really weird angle right now but there's people going so i'm gonna wait till those people get by but i mean i can still swing it are they going yeah they're <laughs> he was right about the Shenanigans with the cruise ship. All right, here we go, boys. such an awkward thing man almost got it now <laughs> oh shoot man this is sketchy especially with all the people around 
and because there wasn't a very good turn up here you know what i mean so it was really uh a weird one I got her now. He's telling me to come on. He's telling me to come on. Okay. He said I was good, so yeah, it was awkward. It actually would have probably been easier if I turned up there and back then. Um, it was just really awkward with the angle that I had. So the first shots of the Civil War was filmed out there. Fort Sumter, Yorktown, and that uh, boat, that uh, ship, sorry, not boat, uh, what boat number two we said? USS Shoretown? USS Shoretown? York. Yorktown, sorry. sunshine that leaves at four o'clock boat leaves at four o'clock here carnival cruise line they're all floating now this is the ship we got hit with that storm last week that's neat Alright guys, so that little tour was from our escort there. He just said uh, hop in the truck and uh, we gonna go. So, yeah. Alright, now he said, you ready? I said, yeah, but I gotta watch these people here. Yeah, the dad's telling them you guys gotta go that way. Because <laughs> tr big trucks gotta turn, boy. <laughs> it is a heck of a place to... lying about all the cruise crap going all around here holy smokes okay i'm just gonna follow close to him i'm gonna follow close to him everybody's staying on the sides okay we don't want to hit no cruisers they got walking paths right there they're all good <laughs> oh man this is fun I said, how far do you take me out of here? And he's like, I just take you to the gate. I'm like, God dang it. He's like, from there, you're on your own. I was like, God dang it. Well, how the heck do I get? <laughs> so I kind of, while I was in the truck with him and everything, I was uh, kind of looking like what I could do as far as a uh, route and how to get up out of here. And I pretty much got it. You take that. Of a mile. Turn right on East Bay Street. Yeah, you take that East Bay Street, and that'll take you all the way up to the loop that'll take me up to Highway 17. It gets me up to Georgetown. So, <clears throat> I've definitely done my homework on this load, and I'm glad I did, because had I just showed up here, I wouldn't have, number one, been let in. <laughs> number two, had nowhere to go. All right, she's telling us we can go. <laughs> this is just this is just crazy to me it's funny i'm laughing because it's just so out of the ordinary of what we do in trucking you know what i mean at least at least not what we do because obviously a lot of drivers do this you can see another driver was backing in well sorry you didn't may not have saw it but there was another driver backed in when i left and you know it's just part of the way it goes you know it's, that happens here but for me it's out of the ordinary of the job that i usually do to come in here to a cruise ship place and do all of this so he's just telling me go 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 so i don't stop at the stop sign and i uh gonna give them a wave that's out of the ordinary of what your average trucking does for me at least 
All right, we are out of the gate now, so this is as far as he takes me, is what he said. I gotta take this kind of wide, man. Get on this street. I can't see anything. Okay, using the hood mirror now. Hood mirror shows it's clear. We're all good. I'm gonna go this way. Ah, dang it. Ugh. Hold on, guys. Yep. Okay, will do. Okay, gotcha. I appreciate it. You talking about turning, making this turn on that Bay Street? <clears throat> okay. Okay, gotcha. Well. Okay, I appreciate it. I ain't hit nothing yet in my career, so we'll try to keep it that way. Yep, they will in a heartbeat too. They'll get right up on my right side, so I appreciate it. Yep, you've done it, huh? I'm just... Yep. Uh oh. Yeah, me too. In one half mile, take the ramp on the right. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'd much rather get out earlier than later. It makes my day a lot easier, man, so I appreciate it. <clears throat> yep, US 17 North. Take the ramp on the right to US 17 North toward Mount Pleasant. Yeah, riding with Dave. Look, riding. Yeah. Yep, search it on YouTube. It'll pop up, and this Sunday there'll be a new video of it. So check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And if you click on the videos button, it'll show the most recent videos. And this Sunday there should be a new one up. This one. So yep, that'll be it. All right. You too. I appreciate it. All right, guys. So as you saw just there, uh, I was talking to him on the phone. He was helping me take that right turn because I had to take the left-hand lane, as y'all saw. On the right to US 17 North. And he was saying, all these people just come off this cruise ship. They ain't gonna care about you trying to take that right. They're gonna pull up on your right side. And there's been accidents here and everything else. And I could see easily how that happens. So he knew. I tell you what, he's a damn fine escort, man. He's got. I hope he does watch his video because I don't shout him out. He's pretty dang good escort. For super friendly, helpful, knowledgeable, drove a truck before, he knows what he's doing. Like, I can't say anything bad about the man. Now, that made my experience very easy. And yeah, I was worried about this load, y'all know that, but that was really easy, man. Now we're scooting on out to Georgetown, going to pick up our next load. Look at his view, too, at the same time, man. Shoo, it's been a good day today. I got done early because the other guy was late getting here. He gonna be late anyways because he told him he was 40 minutes out like 20 minutes ago and you're gonna be going through Charleston traffic, that's for sure. All right, left two lanes. I gotta get all the way over, he said. He even told me how to get around this bridge. So we're gonna go ahead and hop on over. <clears throat> we're gonna keep hopping on over. Continue on Arthur Ravenel Jr. Bridge. <laughs> 
Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown.